Alright, so I've been really busy doing stuff on my own. I caught, of course, uh, Funkadelic. Uh, he's up to level 18. I've been doing max raid battles. I caught a few Pokemon off screen. I let myself be a little bit more free on how I'm handling this series. Because episodes are 30 minutes long, you know, roughly. I want to make sure I'm getting stuff done in those. But making sure that I have myself backed up, you know, so I have plenty of stuff that I've already done as well. I don't want it to be like just barren so that in the end game I'm having to rush and do everything. So yeah, we're about to see Artemis evolve into my favorite Pokemon ever. What? Artemis is evolving. Here she is. Gardevoir. Yeah. Gardevoir, the Embrace Pokemon. To protect its trainer, it will expend all its psychic power to create a small black hole. Yeah, it can create black holes. Dazzling Gleam, yes please. Yeah, get rid of, uh... Get rid of Draining Kiss. So I won't be getting XP back, but I don't need it with a power of 80. And, uh, even though it learns the most powerful fairy move, Moonblast, at a really high level, still, though, this will be enough to cover for a while. And let's just give Spunkadelic an ESP Candy M. It's level 20. Bug Bite. Yeah, sure. Let's get rid of, uh... Let's get rid of Ember. Well, actually, let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of Ember. So its physical attack is going to be higher than its special attack. So we should focus on moves that do more physical and stuff. Anyways, let's give Dynamax candies to Artemis here. And let's give a rare candy to Goggles. There we go. So yeah, we just, I've been busy getting stuff done. And now Gardevoir is my most powerful Pokemon on my team. And will have my back through the whole journey. Now that I've properly leveled up uh, Artemis. And not just, uh, well that was too much. Okay, that wasn't too much. It was very, very close though. Um, so yeah, I've just been, been getting stuff done. Um, I can, let me see if I can find a max raid battle. That's a Lucario. Let me try and find a max raid battle. So I can show you what it's like. Oh, there's one right over there. So these little charged stoned areas. Uh, these dens. The ones that have beams of light coming out have max raid battles. This is fire. But, oh, it's a, uh, it's a giant, um, gigantic max south. No, no, uh. S S wow, Sizzlipede. So it's fire and bug. Uh, we're gonna switch Pokemon. I want to show you what Gigantamax Mew looks like. <laughs> so let's get Mew here. Don't invite others. That means we'll be playing offline. If we invite others, that means we have people online to play with. Which we don't. I'm hoping to take on a few of the more powerful ones with Mr. Blackling and Blackton 100. Anyways, a giant Sizzlepeed appeared. Now then, we're going to Dynamax Mute 2 here. <laughs> Alright. Let's Dynamax and use Max Rocks... Max Rocksfall? Alright. Max Rockfall. We're going to destroy this Sizzlepeed. <clears throat> and use what it gives us to help us help the other Pokemon out. And meanwhile, Chairman Rose is like, man, JD sure is taking his time getting here. <laughs> and Oleana's like, don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he's on his way, it's got lost in the bathroom or something. And I'm out here, friggin' like, almost getting myself killed fighting gigantic Pokemon. Well, I would say that, except I'm the one who's massacring everyone else. Because, me. Anyways, we're not going to catch it, we already have one. And I don't need another one right now, at least. <clears throat> Alright. So we got these EXP candies here. 
that's how we kind of got a whole lot of HP or uh, experience points very quickly. And these Dynamax candies raise the uh, level of the Dynamax itself for our specific Pokemon, giving it more HP in battle. So, very useful stuff. Items, uh, just so many of them. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I don't want to waste too much time doing too many more battles, but I think I'm almost done clearing out the uh, wild area for right now. And then we can go ahead and finally uh, meet up with uh, Chairman Rose. Also, it's great to see Gardevoir, finally. Uh, it was my main Pokemon back in Emerald version. Okay, Grass Poison. So I, I've done this one before, but let me just show you this. So two star, I think like the max rate battles go up to a total of five stars. The highest one I've seen is two star, which was a Roselia, which is exactly what this is. So we're going to do this one. And uh, we're going to use Gigantamax Gardevoir to destroy this thing. This thing is quite a bit stronger than the last ones, though. It has a lot more HP. But the deficit between our attack and its defense should be wide enough to where it doesn't matter. Alright, Artemis is poison. Yeah, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Alright, let's fight. Dynamax and Max Mindstorm. And use against Roselia. Here we go. Yeah, these are turning out to be incredibly fun. And I think I'm starting to turn around my thinking on Dynamax. I think I really like it. It's pretty cool. Anyways, here we go. I could practically just step on Roselia and I'd finish the duel. Battle, whatever it's called. So that did way more damage this time than I did last time when it was just a Curlia. So yeah, the power is much, much higher. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Also, I don't have battle animations on right now. I keep forgetting to turn back on. Mostly because if I have them turned off, I get to save some time and... Well, I mean... Kill Roselia's dead. <laughs> the teammates help take it out. But, uh... But no, having battle animations off saves a lot of time. It's a lot of stuff I don't have to keep looking at. Oh, no, we're not gonna catch it. We already have one. Alright. So we got S, M, Dynamax Candy. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff here to help keep our team going. This is the main draw of Dynamax battles. I mean, the spectral of it's pretty cool. But really, it's all the EXP candies you get from it. Because you can quickly, quickly level up Pokemon. Alright, this one's normal fighting. So, oh, it's just a, it's a tiny, or it's a Gigantamax uh, Stuffle. Let's just keep going here. So the thing is, when you do a Dynamax or a Max Raid battle, you don't get experience points necessarily. Instead, you get them as candies. So it's kind of a good way to spread out the experience better. If you have like a really powerful Pokemon, you can take on a Max Raid battle pretty quickly. And then use the EXP candies on a really weak Pokemon that, say, you just caught like a level 3 Zigzagoon. And you give it all the EXP candies, you can quickly be boosted to like level 25 to 30, stuff like that. Alright, let's use Max Starfall. I mean, we want to see what it looks like, because I still have battle animations off. But this should very, very quickly get rid of the stuffle. And I might end up catching it too, depending. But we'll see. But for now... Dynamax Gardevoir. Alright. This poor Fluffle. Not Fluffle, Stuffle. Fluffle's an archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's uh, pointy, sharp, deadly, stuffed animals and the like. It is not quite the same as a stuffle. Let's try and catch it using a Great Ball. I've been using Great Balls in these Max Raid battles just to give myself a better chance of catching them, obviously. Since apparently there is a chance that you might not be able to catch the Dynamax Pokemon even though you've weakened it down to 1 HP and you defeated it, there's always a small chance that it can break out of the Pokeball. So it's often recommended that you save before you take on a max raid battle, especially like 3 through 5 stars. 
since 1 through 2 aren't too bad about it. But, uh, yeah, there we go. And you can get rare candies from these, too. Like, this, doing Dynamax gives you experience, rare candies, it gives you TMs, or TRs, I guess. Um, and also, uh, it gives you, like, nuggets and stuff. It gives you just a whole bunch of ways to make money and such. It's, it's really good. And it's really addicting, it seems like, because I can't really seem to stop doing these. So I'll do one more, and then, uh, we'll head off to go see Chairman Rose. How, how about that? But also do myself a favor. I'm going to get off the bike. I'm going to turn on battle animations. So I can see what's going on. And then... We're going to... Go to the bag. Next. My type. We can give these to Funkadelic. There we go. It's level 21. We can give these to goggles. Let's give them all 11. See what that boots, boot, boots them up to. Level 29. The increase is ridiculous and it's great. Let's give them a rare candy too while we're at it. Level 30. There we go. <laughs> and goggles is evolving too. That's awesome. Oh man. At first, I was trying to... Whoa! What is that? Ore beetle! What is that thing? I love it! It's like a ladybug of death. Ore beetle, the seven-spot Pokemon. It emits psychic energy to observe and study what's around it. And what's around it can include things over six miles away. <laughs> Whoo! Oh, boy. All right. Let's get these two Funkadelic. Let's give him a big old boost. Yeah, level 24. So all of a sudden, he's pretty close to being able to be in the team. I mean, just like that. It's amazing. Okay, so we the Dynamax level for Artemis is now at full. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. I only plan on really keeping uh, Artemis as the main Pokemon. But it's good to have uh, Goggles as its final form. Okay, so. My type... Because my OCD is not going to be satisfied until I clear off every notification. Let's fill the TRs. Okay. Wait, what else did we get? A oh, low kick. Okay. So, let's go ahead and save. And then we'll go ahead and take on this uh, max raid battle. So, it's two stars. It's poison and bug, so I'll have a fairly decent advantage here. Uh, I can use my psychic move using a fairy move wouldn't work too awful well. All right, don't invite others. So it's a it's a gigant, it's a dynamaxed skull rupee, which is cool to see there in the game because I love Drapion, which is evolved form. Skull rupee appeared. Go Artemis. Hmm, I got Sniper. What ability does that do? Alright, Quillfish made Scorpius attack fall. And Torco made heat. Fire moves are more powerful here, and also Solar Beam doesn't take two turns to charge. Rather, it, it doesn't take any turns to charge at all. It can fire off immediately. Alright, what's my ability right now? What does it do? Uh, powers up moves. It can crit okay. Nice. Okay. Dynamax. And we're going to use Max Mindstorm on Skorupi. Okay. Also, catching a Pokemon does not give experience either if it's in a Max Raid battle. I think that's like one of the biggest things is that because, uh, I think, what, since Gen 6 or 7, catching Pokemon gave experience. And just now, I'm looking at the readout for when Pokemon Dynamax it looks like there's a lot more noise going on. <laughs> Goodness! We just annihilated this poor little Scorupy. It stood zero chance. Oh, I love this so much. Alright, uh... <laughs> sure, let's try and catch it. Let's use a uh, Netball. It's more effective on Bug-type. It's Poison and Bug, so we should be good. It's not guaranteed, but it's a bit more powerful than using most other Pokeballs. 
yeah, th this game is a lot of fun. I'm having a lot more fun with this game now that I haven't started doing all this extra stuff. Like, especially the max rate battles. These are fantastic. And there we go. We got score rupee. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we got plenty of candies here. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Scorpy. The Scorpion Pokemon. It attacks using the claws on its tail. Once locked in its grip, its prey isn't able to move as this Pokemon's poison seeps in. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this not to into a box. It was one that I think I caught doing a Dynamax battle or something like that. There we go. Oh, and also earlier on, I passed by that Pokemon uh, nursery or something like that. And they just gave me a Toxel. It, it was free. They just gave it to me. It's called it's called the baby Pokemon. It's electric and poison. And it looks very sour. Uh, so yeah. I don't see myself using it because, again, the last slot is in reserve for Galarian Ponyta. But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good with how the team's shaping up. Especially since I discovered the max trade battles. <laughs> and the and the results it can end up having. It's just good. Alright, let's give these to Funkadelic. Give it a boost. Level 27. Coil. Uh. Sure, forget. Old moves. What, what, what does it do? Oh, no, it raises attack and defense. Eh, nah. It's good. Okay. We can give these to... Uh, let's give it to Mute 2. There we go. Level is level 28. Yeah, just making sure. Can't use any more Dynamax candies on it. Okay. So, right now, our weakest member is Munchie. And also, I should probably look into TMs and stuff that it can learn. So, we can have some better moves. Uh, it can learn Magical Leaf. I think it's more powerful than Razor Leaf is, and it never misses. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's more powerful and has a higher accuracy. So, yes, get rid of Razor Leaf. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Beat up, nah. Swift, eh, not necessarily needed for Munchie. Um, it can learn low kick, focus energy. So, not many teams I have Munchie can learn. That's fine. We have a lot of things to sell. There's a lot of things that I need to get done. But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think I'll be able to handle myself a whole lot better in the next gym. Hey, Lucario. Let's bump into you real quick. You're fighting a steel type. Yeah, very strong looking, Lucario. Unfortunately, we cannot Dynamax anywhere we want, and I believe I've already said that. But, uh, ah, it's level 36. Yikes. It's still a little too tough for me to handle. That's fine. Let's get some Watts. Okay, we're back at 3,000 watts. We're pretty high up. <gasps> There's an item. I need that. A Thunderstone. Neat. That can involve Pikachu. And other Pokemon that I can't really think of right now. Oh, Eevee. Yeah, it involves Eevee and Jolteon. I heard a... I heard a... something. Yeah, Bronzor. That's what I was hearing. There's a, uh... V a, uh... V Vicavolt. Vicavolt, whatever it's called. It's a very scary bug Pokemon that's also electric type. There's a Bisharp. I'm glad that they're in the game. I love using Bisharp black and, back in black and white. That was a... That was a good Pokemon. It, it did a lot of things for me. Especially when it came down to just absolutely wrecking every other trainer's team. It was just really good at that. 
I'm trying to see if I can find the uh, fishing rod lady. You know, I could probably take down this Machoke with Artemis. Very strong looking, huh? That's fine. Go on, Artemis. I know you can do it. What level is it? 31? Oh, this will be a piece of cake. Watch this. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, that was really easy. Amazing. It's like normal Pokemon training is no longer, like, a thing because of the Dynamax battles. It just changes the whole dynamic of how you train Pokemon. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, uh, improve my bike. How, how much would it take? 5,000? Yeah, I don't have 5,000 yet. Okay. Let's, oh, that's a right on. Mm, hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember my right on Let's Go Eevee is called Goober. I remember that. Yeah. Let's get some more berries here. Oh, we're still good. Let's try it again. One more time. Yeah. We're good now. There we go. Perfect. Alright, uh, maybe I should actually stop this. Because again, getting all these Dynamax Pokemon battles are really fun, and they give me a lot of stuff. But if I don't head out and start... Okay, mm, you say you're crazy strong. I doubt it. I think I can do this now. Alright, snap to it. Let the battle begin. Uh, Chairman Rose is never going to see me ever again. I'll just spend the, spend the rest of my days here in the wild area. Just... Oh, it's a... It's a Grookey. Huh. Well, how about that? How strong is it? Oh, it's not! <laughs> this is... Oh. I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna let Funkadelic handle this. See what it can do. I wonder what level of Funkadelic evolves at. Or if it even needs a level to evolve. Like... Ooh, what are the requirements for it? You're gonna poke me with a stick. I mean, I guess you couldn't do too much more, could you? Okay, use Flame Wheel! And there we go. Grookey is gone. E. Sobble, huh? You know what? Let's send out Goggles. I want to see what Orbeetle can do. Ah, oh, look at that thing. Ooh. It's like you wouldn't want to count this Pokemon in like a, a just a dark alleyway. It gives me that kind of vibe. Anyways, let's use Confusion. It's not the strongest Psychic type move, and I wonder when it learns more moves, because at level 30, it's rocking a kind of not so great move set. It's okay. It was okay when it was a, uh, oh, uh, a Dottler, but, eh. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use Mute 2. Alright. And there's Score Bunny. So I guess this is the lady who can let us see the, uh, starter Pokemon in case we... Can't see the other two. Uh, let's use Bulldoze. Oh, you're gonna go first, huh? Alright. Thanks for knocking off 2 HP for me. And I'll just knock off all yours! That's how this goes. I'm afraid. And I don't know what Hop's gonna do when he comes across me. I mean, I basically just gave my Pokemon steroids. Okay, I guess it'll come back stronger or something. Ooh, look! A place to get more watts. There's nothing in there because I've already claimed it. Oh no, it's a stuffle. It's a very strong looking one. I kind of doubt it. It's fighting type and it stands no chance against Artemis. It's also level... Th you know what? Yeah, sure. Let's just beat it. Yeah, even five levels higher, it still stands zero chance. This is good. 
Okay, I really, really need to get out of here. I can't even... It's just... Oh, it's just almost full-on addiction. Because it's just so good. It gets everything done. It's so convenient. That I just saw a Steelix. Ah, uh, that's a Steelix. I don't know about that. I have no way to take that on exactly right now. So even with Funkadelic being fire type, it only covers half of Steelix's typing. The other half is rock type, which means fire type. Wait! Or is it ground type? It's steel and ground, not steel and rock. Steel and rock would be terrible. What? Hi, who are you? Yeah, I'm sure. What'd you, what'd you give me? Sweet! Three AXP candies. Nice. Okay, some more watts. Another thing I said about getting out of here. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Because I can't stop. I can't stop getting more watts. Yes. More. See, this is basically what I've been doing for the past, like, hour or so. It's just this. I've just been doing all this. That's it. Ah, there's nothing in the den. Hmm, what a shame. Can I get over there? Yes, I can. That's a max raid battle. Oh, should I do another? See, this is me when I'm having actual fun. It looks exactly like this. Just flying type. Huh. What's pure flying? Let's switch Pokemon. I want to use, uh, let's see, let's check out, hmm, pure fun. Let's go ahead and use Mute 2. So Artemis could probably take it. I just want to go ahead and, oops, wrong button. Let's use Ready to Battle. Start a battle. There we go. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. Alright, last one, I promise. Oh, it's a Corvus Squire. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so seriously, there's the last Max Ray battle I'll do in this episode, then I'll head to Chairman Rose and I'll see what he wants, and then we can end the episode after doing... I guess I'm pretty much, like, just compensating for the fact that one of the episodes I had last time had almost nothing in it. It was just me running around looking for, uh, uh, just a centipede on fire. That's basically all it was. And, I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to make up for it by actually doing a whole lot of other things. Alright, so here we go. Mute 2, go ahead and end this. That's a terrifying noise, I gotta say. Dynamax Mew 2, or <laughs> Dynamax Mew, uh, just has a terrifying nightmare cry. I am surprised that didn't kill it. That did a less damage than I expected. Which makes me a little bit worried. This Corvus Squire might be a little bit more powerful than I thought. That poor Togepi. It just got arrow blasted, basically. It's alive! Alright, Togepi! Trooper! Life do? What does that do? Ah, oh, it restores HP to everyone okay all right that's fine okay so oh sweet it's burned that's always means its physical attack has been dropped a little bit too okay we're fine the next move we do should be able, well the whole next round should be able to finish off Corvus Squire if not my next move so here we go max airstream Eh, Torkoal's fine. That's weird that my speed... Oh, wait, I see. Never mind. I said it was weird because I know I was moving first before, but its move actually increases its own speed. And Corvus Squire is dead. Nice. Corvus Squire is weak. Throw a Pokeball now. I'll catch it. Netball. That works on water or bug. No, I thought there was... Oh, Nest Ball works on... Flying types a little better. Okay. Uh, 
You know what? Let's use a repeat ball. We've already caught a Corvus Squire before. So this should increase the power. And plus I can level this one up to become a Corviknight. And I'll have all three of the uh, birds. I mean, if I can catch this thing, of course. Come on. Yes! We did it! Alright, Corvus Squire was caught. Nice! Look at all the stuff it gave me. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and throw that into the box. And then next episode, you'll see me in the town where I'm supposed to be. I won't waste your time anymore. Uh, so I guess I'll catch y'all in the next one. Have a good one.